Do you want to design and test your mural applications and APIs graphically or in XML all within the studio? Do you want to easily integrate testing into your existing CI CD process? Do you want to minimize manual work with auto generated tests and coverage reports? Hi, I'm Himaja Sunkara. I'm a customer success technical architect here at MuleSoft. The agenda of this tutorial is to discuss about what is an MUNet, why MUNet, anatomy of a test suite, and MUNet best practices. Before getting started and diving into how to specifics, let us first understand what MUNet is. An MUNet is a Mule application testing framework which allows you to build automated tests for your Mule integrations and APIs. With the help of MUNet, the Mule components can be mocked so that the test cases can be isolated without connecting to external systems, thereby making the test portable. One of the main reasons why we use a MUNet is that it is native to Mule as in the customers can develop, debug and test the Mule applications in the same IDE. MUNet is also easy to use or learn. If one knows MuleSoft, it is very easy to learn and know about MUNet. It might take days and weeks to build an application, but creating test cases in MUNet framework takes very minimal time and effort for the developers. Also, it is preferred over other unit testing frameworks such as JUnit which is used for writing and running tests in the Java programming language. Whereas MUnit is XML based so it's easy to read or write the code compared to Java. MUnit can also enable the operational excellence as it is integrated with Maven which makes integration with build systems such as Jenkins very simple. By just clicking on the Generate Coverage Reports tab inside the studio, you can see the application or flow coverage. If you want, you can also generate the coverage reports in JSON for integrations into your own reporting systems. Here in this slide, you can see the anatomy of a MUNIT test suite. A MUNIT test suite file is the base file in the MUNIT framework. Each MUNIT test suite file is a collection of MUNIT tests. It should be able to run on its own and run independently from other MUNIT test suite files. Before suite, after suite, before test and after test are the scopes which could be run before all the test cases or individual test case. Therefore, if you want to run any logic before executing all the test cases or individual tests, you could use these scopes. Set, mock, verify, spy and assert are some of the event processors which are used while building the test cases. Let us see what each one of them offers. The set event processor allows you to define a mule event. This message processor is normally used at the beginning of an MUNIT test so that you can set the value that you wanted to send to the flow that is being tested. Mock allows you to mock an event processor when it matches the defined name and attributes with the behavior that we define while configuring the mock when processor. Verify event processor will help us to validate if a message processor has been called and if yes, how many number of times it has been called. Spy event processor spies what happens before and after an event processor is called. Here in this flow, we could use spy before a flow reference and after a flow reference so that we can check what is the input that is going into the flow ref and what is the output coming out of the flow reference. Lastly, the assert that event processor allows you to run assertions to validate the state of a mule event's content. There are also other event processors which could be used to build your test cases. Now, let us discuss some of the best practices while building MUNIT test cases. The first and foremost point under the MUNIT best practices is the consideration that needs to be given to build MUNIT test cases from planning or build phase. Often developers have strict timelines to build the MUNIT test cases. Therefore, they start with the integration testing directly. This problem can be mitigated by considering the build of the MUNIT test cases from the plan or build phase rather than considering it after the entire application development. This will also help the developers to build a robust code and keep the test cases updated regularly. MUNIT test cases should be updated regularly along with the changes in the applications or whenever there are any changes in the requirements. Always remember that MUNIT test cases should be in sync with the actual Mule application to get the best out of the unit testing using MUNIT. Negative testing is as important as positive testing. MUNIT testing is built and the applications are tested against the MUNIT test cases by the developers. Most of the times the developers are focused on positive testing rather than the negative testing. 
This might create problems during the other testing phases such as integration testing or uh, acceptance testing etc. So care must be taken to build the negative test cases and perform the testing with both negative and positive test cases. Test cases should be built close to the reality. Test cases should be built as robust as possible considering the actual production instance. Doing so will help to ensure that the application performs as expected when subjected to its intended working environment. This will also help the testers to understand if there are any performance issues that needs to be resolved. Remove the dependencies whenever possible. All the dependencies on the external systems like third-party services, servers, or any other legacy systems, etc. should be removed so that the testing can be done faster and with more efficiency. For example, an API might have dependencies on other APIs or components. As a best practice, these dependencies should be marked with the expected responses from these dependencies, thereby making the test cases as portable as possible. With the help of even processors like MockWen, under the MUNET tools, we can achieve this and mitigate any unforeseen or costly delays due to the unavailability of these APIs or components. Incorporating the testing within the pipeline at various stages in CI-CD. As a general best practice, enterprises are recommended to start on CI-CD and through review and learnings improve on the CI-CD process. One of the key recommended tasks is incorporating the testing within the pipeline at various stages in CI-CD, which will account for multiple levels of testing, such as unit test cases, integration test cases, and or functional test cases. Incorporating testing also provides the confidence while migrating applications between the instances. Therefore, with this process, we can validate the applications as early as possible to keep the builds and environment stable. Ensure you have meaningful assertions in your test flows in order to make sure that flows behave in the same way as we expect them to. You can also configure messages in the assert that event processor with a successful or failed readable message. Thank you for watching the tutorial and see you in the next tutorial.